asked me how canoeing changed my life, I, I would beg to differ, it changed my life. Canoeing made my life. I'm Kevin Keller. Uh, some people call me the happy camper because I'm happy all the time. Uh, how the happy camper thing started, wow. Uh, I wrote a book a few years back called The Happy Camper. It was a huge bestseller. And then the media sister Cardin called me happy camper because I, I guess I'm happy when I'm on TV and radio and stuff like that. And in real person. I'm very happy in, in real life. Some days I'm having bad days, but I'm still the happy camper. If I had to choose one person that got me started in canoeing, it was Bill Mason. That, that was there. Uh, I think everybody at my age got started canoeing because of Bill Mason, uh, the iconic red canoe. Passion about canoeing, it's, it's sort of like my zen. Uh, the idea of paddling, just the, the, the stroking of the water, the, the thinking of nothing. The idea of paddling all day, the one day I started counting how many strokes I did per day, and it was like in the, in the thousands. And it's like people would say, well, isn't that like really tiring and monotonous? I went, no, it's, it's very, very relaxing. I wrote in my journal, this is the best vessel ever to get you in the wilderness. I got, no, no, I got nothing against people that use ATVs, stand-up boards, um, kayaking, all that stuff. As long as you get out there, that's fine. To me, it's the canoe. The reason why is that you can portage it into the interior, get into small streams, tr tranquil lakes, really remote areas. And if you ever met someone at the end of that long buggy portage in that really remote lake full of brook trout, you know, you probably won't because it's going to be difficult to do. But if you do find th that person, they're going to be just like you. And that I really like. Canoeing has sort of gone from leveled off to now like peaking huge. The last two years, tons of people are paddling. And who are? New Canadians. They love it because that's the true Canadian icon, the canoe, the red canoe. So many people paddling. So many young people, so many young couples, so many new Canadians. It's amazing to actually see all this happening. So they were wrong. Yeah, why do I canoe? Uh, I think it's just, I like the motion uh, of putting the paddle through the water, able to maneuver your canoe through some rapids or across a windy lake or across a calm, misty lake. I am who I am out there when I, I canoe. I like that. I actually like myself. And so should you. Everybody should love themselves. You, know, you already know the goods and bads, especially at my age, you know the goods and bads of your character. And you can change that if you want, but I'm good. Like, I like myself. I love myself out in the woods. Um, I, I respect myself out there. And the canoe does that for me. I mean, our whole life is just busy, 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 busy. You have to do this, you have to do that. Out in the woods, no, nature actually tells you what you're going to do. Because if you don't listen to nature, it will kill you. Boy, you know what? To characterize me, I, I don't know what my job is. I teach part-time at the college. I've been doing that for years. I write, I'm a writer. I, you know, that's what my most proudest thing. When someone says, what do you do? I'm a writer. And I actually make most of my, my, uh, my livelihood, which is not much. Don't ever be a Canadian writer if you want to make money. But I'm um, a writer, filmmaker. I work at CBC, do some uh, CBC radio, do some media stuff. And basically never a dull moment. I, I don't know what my real job is, which is always a good thing.